Pro Tips. Welcome back to another edition of Pro Tips with VRG, where we welcome professionals from all different industries to bring you tips. And today we're here with Mr. Gordon Spalding, a local business owner of multiple companies. And Gordon, tell us a little bit about those companies and all the services that you provide. So we do everything peer related. We've got American Boat Lifting Systems, G7 Electrical Services, and then I partner up with my stepson who is running the peer business to where we're a full service peer construction company now as well. So Gordon, you mentioned your boat lift services and we are in the heat of boating season. So what are some things that boat lift owners should take a look for as far as maintenance coming out of the winter or maybe if they're lifted a little older? It's, it's definitely our busy time. Spring is when we, uh, we get behind the eight ball quick as far as work just because Nobody really thinks about their boat lift in the wintertime, but when spring gets here, everybody thinks about their lift and they want them up and running. So basically, general maintenance, the, the gear plates, gear plates need a little bit of grease. You've got, you've got uh, motors, belts, pulleys. The belts should be maintained, make sure that they're proper tension, not worn out. Pulleys, you wanna make sure that they're not flared out. Grease fittings and gears, you wanna make sure you've always got grease on your gears. Cables, that's another big part of a lift. You wanna make sure that your cables are not frayed. You don't have any fraying. Um, cables in good shape because if you're lifting, you know, if you've got a $300,000 boat on your boat lift, last thing you want is a lift that has bad cable. Right. So yeah, we do day. everything <laughs> from complete maintenance, maintaining them, to any parts that need to be replaced 100% to full on new installs. Okay, Gordon. So we spoke a little bit about the boat lift company, but you have to have a pier to have the boat lift on. So let's talk a little bit about your marine construction company. So I partnered up with my stepson, oldest stepson, Mike Rowe. He and I are together in the pier business. And uh, so for pier maintenance, if you've got an older pier, some of the things to look for would be your cross braces, your, your uh, stringers, and your bolts that hold the pier in place. Basically your galvanized bolts that hold the pier in place. So keep an eye on those. You wanna make sure that they're not rusting. If you've got a rust stain running down the piling, then that's something that you might wanna address and have some bolts changed. The other thing is the decking. We're on a pier that has pretty new decking. So you know, as long as you maintain your cross braces, your stringers, your bolts, your foundation, you should be in good shape with your pier. The deck is the worst part that catch the, catches the wear and tear in the sun. So older piers, sometimes you might want to consider redecking them. And then in some cases, if your pier's 40 years old, you might need a total pier replacement. And we can do anything pier related as well. Same thing with boat lifts, anything boat lift related. All right, Gordon, so we covered the boat lift. We covered the pier. Now let's cover a little bit of G7, your electrical company. How are, is that boat lift going to work and how are we going to see when we come home from a late night on the boat? So G7 Electric is a, a full service electrical company that um, I've been doing for probably 40 years. And we wire, we got pretty heavily involved in the pier business a long time ago. We probably wire 30, 40 piers a year. So you've obviously got to have power on the pier for your lift to work. Uh, another thing that you would want is you would want some nice either accent lighting or security lighting depending on how much light you want, where you live and what you may want to do. You might want to just have some low level accent lighting to sit on the pier and kind of fish or listen to the radio. Or you want some a lot more security lighting just to kind of keep everything lit up to make sure that you don't have any issues. So full service electrical company, any type of lighting you want, plugs you want. Um, and also the thing, the, the thing to do about electrical is maintaining your pier to make sure that you've got all your covers in place that you need on your outlets. You don't have any sagging wires, any sagging conduits. Make sure that everything's GFI protected. The, the most uh, number one thing that you need to do is make sure that have, have everything GFI protected. So that's a pretty big deal on a pier as well. Electricity and water don't mix, so GFI protection is key. <laughs> Great tip, safety first guys. Yeah, exactly. So our office number is 410-326-1600. We're actually located right here in Solomons, currently at the Washburn's Boatyard Complex but we're gonna be moving also soon to McCready's Railway and Boatyard, and we'll be working out of there, but you can contact any of the three businesses by calling us there, and if it's peer related, we'll refer you to Mike. If it's electrical or boat lift related, I'll take care of that. So we're looking forward to uh, hearing from you. Hey, so thanks for watching, and until next time, my friends, live light, live big, and happy boating. <laughs>